Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review for the new limited edition 16 inch Megara doll released by Disney Store for the 25th anniversary of Hercules. Um, and I also have a sketch here for you. She was designed by Jess. I put her Instagram below and this is kind of like a primary idea of what she was supposed to be and we have the final results. Now, I know that a lot of us were expecting a Hercules doll to be released and unfortunately they didn't do one for him. We all know that the male characters don't do as well in doll form uh, in the past, but it's always been like the Prince Charming and stuff like that. They don't sell as much as the princess characters do. But I did expect one for Hercules because he is the main character. Maybe we'll still get one at D23. Maybe that would be the exclusive. I haven't really heard anything about that, though. That's just me hoping we get one. Uh, but yeah, we just got Meg and I mean, she is beautiful and... I'm glad that we finally have one because this is one of the characters that I never thought would get one along with Kira, which we already have one, and Esmeralda, which we already have one. So I am super happy that we got her. I just hope we do get a Hercules down the line. Anyways, in this review, we're going to go ahead and take her out of the box, take a closer look at everything and all that good stuff. So let's get started. <laughs> First up, we have the box and it has like a silverish color to it with some really uh, rose gold. And we have the Hercules logo on gold on the top with the strap being a really light purple color. We have the Hercules logo right at the top, Disney Store logo, ages six and up. There you can see that the Hercules is like a in rose gold, right? Then we have the 25th anniversary logo for Hercules. Really cool. It's a sticker on the, on the plastic. And then right on the bottom, we have Megara and it's limited edition uh, 7200, which is quite a lot. On the side of the box, we have more of the same uh, rose gold design and we have the gold um, design on the plastic as well. On the back of the box, we have the little, um, you know, ribbon thing that keeps it together. And then right at top, we have the huge Hercules logo with the Pegasus on both sides. And then we have a quick description here in English. The box is a little scratched, but that's fine because I'm taking her out. And then we have the French one on the bottom. And the retail price is not on the box, but it is $129.99. The entire design of the box is beautiful in my opinion. And then here you have it without the first cover, just so that you can see all the gold um, detailing on the plastic here. And then, of course, we have the certificate of authenticity. That is my limited edition number right there. Now we're taking a look at Meg while she's still in the box before I go ahead and take her out. You know, I always like to give you a quick look at the way that the doll is displayed and the background that they use for it. Here you can see that they used uh, some backgrounds for the movie and even though the colors are pretty similar to the doll, there is a lot of blue, and so it makes her stand out, right? I really love the background, it's really pretty. It just works for her. She's holding her flower, and yeah, I think she looks beautiful in the box. Now, magically, here she is out of it, <laughs> and she looks, she looks just as beautiful, of course. We're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at everything. The first thing is her little uh, plastic rose or flower. It's there with a rubber band. You can take that off. She can still hold it pretty well without it. And the flower is painted with like a fluorescent color to it. It's really pretty in person. When I first saw stock photos, I didn't think it was necessary to add the rose or the flower. But now I kind of really like it. It's really pretty. Next up, we're taking a closer look at her beautiful face. And they did a wonderful job here. I love her profile. She looks just like the character in the movie. Um, I believe this could be like a blown up you know, bigger version of the designer, designer doll uh, face sculpt. I'm not sure, but they definitely capture her. Uh, she is very simple. She has purple eyeshadow, purple eyes, long rooted lashes, her little wonky, beautiful eyebrows that, that she's so famous for. Her lip color is also beautiful. I'm not sure what do you call this color. It's like a burgundy, reddish, purple-ish. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful color, very similar to her hair as well. Which brings me to her hairstyle. She has her side um, bang here, which has a lot of gel, which looks really good. And she has the two curls on the side of her ears. Now the hair itself, 
there's not a lot of hair here. Um, there's very little hair and it has a lot of gel in it. I'm going to go ahead and wash her hair and show you at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, there's this is a gift and a curse because when you have a lot of hair, the, hair, the head just tilts back uncontrollably. And so you won't have that issue here because there's not a lot of hair. So, you know, gift and a curse, because of course we would want a lot of hair for her. But once we wash it, I think it'll have a little bit more volume. She also has this hair piece, which we have seen before on the Evil Queen um, released for the Masquerade collection, right? They just reuse that material here and they do that often, which it's okay with me. You know, it's, it's okay to reuse. It works, it looks beautiful on her. Uh, so yeah, I'll wash the hair later and you can see it. She's also wearing um, these new earrings. We've never seen these done before for any doll and they're pretty unique. This is something you could definitely go out and, you know, find in a store. <laughs> And you can go ahead and try and remove them, but I couldn't. I think it has like a stop piece on the inside. But yeah, they're metal and painted gold. Meg is wearing a sheer organza shawl with golden details on it. Um, it did have little plastic tacks, which I removed off camera just so that we didn't have to go through that <laughs> while filming. But yeah, here you can see it's a lilac purple color. Very nice, very pretty. We have the little Hercules sign in gold and we have a flower for her on the bottom and just a bunch of really pretty designs that you kind of did see in the designs of the box as well. So that's really cool that it's all tied in together. I love the color. I love that it's see-through. It's just a really nice addition to the doll, right? Give her a little something extra. <laughs> She's wearing a satin bodice and we have this overlay piece here. It's kind of like a folded fabric and it is a little bit see-through. It's dark purple though and it is attached to the bodice itself on the sides there so you can see she's also wearing these gold chains at the top and you can kind of leave them there where they are or you can bring them down like this which i think looks better i like it both ways but i would definitely be leaving it down like this because it just looks more fitting for the character right so i absolutely love that we have that option she's also wearing a pleated sash with golden brooch and chains attached to it right there and the skirt bottom part of the dress is called fluted underskirt with tattered hemline. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out is that it is a little bit see-through. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but the actual sash itself is attached right there with little plastics to that underskirt. And I'm not going to remove it because I feel like that is what's keeping it open. I feel like it would become like a tube if I was to just let that go and it wouldn't fill up the dress. That's just my opinion, a decision that I made. <laughs> I also wanted to point out that that little brooch there, we've seen it before, it's on the live action Jasmine wedding doll, which is really cool. There you can see, you can remove it if you like, it's an option for you. Uh, however, I'm not removing it completely because again, I wanna keep it attached to the skirt and also the chains are attached to um, this front area here, which I think they fall really nicely the way that they're attached. That's why I'm not removing them. She's also wearing these two golden bracelets. I'm not sure we've seen these before, uh, but they are beautiful. The only way to take them off is if you were to, you know, safely and carefully remove her hands. I won't be doing that because I think they look beautiful. Absolutely love them. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove the outfit so we can take a closer look at everything. I also wanted to show you that she has the same stand as Esmeralda, which is the oval shape instead of the usual uh, circle. Okay, for her shoes, she's wearing the gladiator sandals or gladiator heels, right? They're plastic and golden, and it has the, the ribbon that attaches at the back right there. Really pretty. I'm glad that she's wearing this and not just like flats or anything, because this is, of course, perfect for her. This is what she should be wearing, and she is absolutely love them. Now, for the outfit here, you can kind of see just like the construction of it, right? Um, cause you already kind of saw pretty much all of it, but yeah, the embroidery work on this, it's beautiful. There's a lot of embroidery and a lot of rhinestones on it There you can kind of see them all. It's like leaves and flowers. It kind of matches the stuff on the box as well as on the certificate and you know, all the designs we've seen everywhere. It's all on the doll here. It goes all the way around with the rhinestones and the embroidery. I love the flowers there. Really, really beautiful. When you move the sash, which again, you have the option to take off if you wanted to, you can kind of see it too. 
The fabric for it, which is satin, is perfect. It just looks so beautiful and shiny. <laughs> I love it. When you open it, you can see that it does have protection in there so that it doesn't stain uh, the body of the doll. Now this part here is a little bit see-through. Um, you can kind of see the legs depending on the lighting and stuff like that. And she does have this little underskirt there that's very tiny. I wish they did double the layer of that area so that it wouldn't be see-through. But ultimately, I don't mind. And last but not least, I did say I would show you what she looks like after I washed her hair. This is a quick clip. Um, I just used warm water. I didn't want to use any shampoo or conditioner. And this is pretty much the final result. I might wash it again later with shampoo and conditioner. But for now, this is it. It's mostly dry hair. It's still a little bit wet. Uh, but again, I was kind of in a rush to get the video done and dry it and all that good stuff. I think it looks way better and fuller once you wash it. It did lose most of the curls, but you can always curl it back up if you wanted to. I kind of like the way that it is here, really straight and just some curls on the bottom or some waves. It did add a lot of length to it. And once the gel washed off, it kind of gave it a brighter color, which matches the color of her hair in the movie more. So I absolutely love it. It does have some shorter strands, but that's because um, they did use that hair to wrap it around the ponytail, right? You can see it there. I'm definitely gonna shampoo and condition it later just to like mess around with it. And if I do something different, I'll post it on my Instagram. All right, everybody. So that is all for today. Let me know what you think of Megara in the comments. Are you gonna get her? Did you get her already? Are you gonna wash her hair, take her out of the box, keep her in the box? I don't know. Let me know what you're gonna do if you got her. At the time of making this video, she's currently sold out on shopdisney.com. She might still come back. So best of luck to you if you still haven't been able to get her. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend her. I think she's beautiful. So happy we have her and Kira and Esmeralda. It's the three dolls I always wanted and never knew we would get. So very happy. Absolutely love her. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.